Good morning, this is Dr. Jose Barrera. I'm with Texas Center for Facial Plastic and Laser Surgery. I'm here to present a video abstract on our paper about recent advances in orthognathic surgery. Uh, orthognathic surgery is a surgery that can be performed both for malocclusion, which is an abnormal bite, as well as for obstructive sleep apnea. There are also cases of craniofacial abnormality in which we perform maxillofacial surgery for. Uh, maxillofacial surgery consists of aligning the upper jaw or the maxilla, the lower jaw, the mandible, and sometimes a genioplasty, which is done in order to align the chin point to a more aesthetic position. Uh, maxillofacial surgery also involves uh, aligning the teeth into a proper occlusion as well as improving the airway in patients with moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. There have been recent advancements in orthognathic surgery, which include the surgery first uh, approach. The surgery first approach allows us to uh, get the occlusion into close alignment, followed by secondary orthodontic management. Uh, this is the idea of moving the house first and then the furniture inside the house second. The advantage of surgery first is that it allows us to get a expeditious uh, movement of the upper and lower jaw to the proper position and as a result allow for a faster recovery. Uh, insurance companies may also uh, allow for quicker authorization and approval of the surgery as a result instead of it being delayed by orthognathic, excuse me, instead of being delayed by orthodontic management. Secondarily, uh, maxillofacial surgery may be done as a secondary procedure or as an intermediate approach, whereby the uh, occlusion is set first with traditional orthodontics, followed by maxillomandibular or single jaw surgery, followed by final orthodontic management for proper occlusion. Lastly, obstructive sleep apnea is a severe medical disorder whereby patients have airway obstruction at the level of the palate and the tongue base and the lateral pharyngeal wall. Uh, and so obstructive sleep apnea can be improved with uh, maximum mandibular surgery, uh, recent advancements uh, in looking at uh, long-term results show that the success rate for maximum mandibular advancement for obstructive sleep apnea is 86% and cure rates down below 40%. So there's lots of recent advancement for uh, maximum mandibular advancement in obstructive sleep apnea. It is the most successful treatment thus far in 2020 to improve patients with moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. There are other options such as hypoglossal nerve stimulation which are coming online uh, and recent advancement in hypoglossal nerve stimulation has shown increasing success in patients with moderate severe sleep apnea. However, maximum mandibular advancement continues to remain a mainstay operation for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, which is refractory to CPAP management. You can learn more about these management techniques and treating patients either surgery first or for obstructive sleep apnea at www drjoseberrero.com. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Bye.